Hello everybody, welcome back to Two Bananas Adventures, where we do all things outdoors here in the North Cascades in the Pacific Northwest, except rock climbing. Don't do rock climbing. But if you like fishing, foraging, hunting, hiking, camping, and the gear that helps us get there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay abreast of all the sweet adventures here. So I, even though I'm walking downhill right now, I'm actually heading up overall into a spot looking for some grouse today. I've got my trusty Mossberg 12 gauge and uh, it rained pretty hard yesterday and it warmed up a little bit today. It's in the mid 40s and uh, partly sunny, partly cloudy. So I think, I think the conditions are right. Ooh, that's dark. I think the conditions are right to get into some grouse. So let's head up into this spot and see what we can get into. I think I got one. Gotta find him. I don't see any more. All right. Well, he flew straight away from me. Sorry I didn't get it on camera. It always happens fairly suddenly. But I got him right here in the wing and then in the back of the neck. I don't think there's any pellets in the breast. We'll find out though. Let's keep on keeping on. I thought I heard a tweep. Couldn't tell where it came from. Might have been hallucinating. I just saw two flush. But they're like 80 yards away. Maybe we can spook them out. Or maybe there's some more. Is that an old road? Did they just... Oh, there's one there! Oh. Shoot. Let's see if we can find them. They flush so far away. Oh. Once they fly off into the bush, man, that's like, that's like it. Oh, check those out. How cool is that? Oh my God. It's so hard to be a good hunter when you're so distracted by mushrooms. Man, look up here. That looks like mushroom heaven. Holy cow. Okay. When I come up around this corner, I'm going to take a right and then there's a big draw here uh, with a creek in it that's going to come around this way. I've always seen a lot of grouse in these draws where there's like a mix of uh, hardwood and conifer so i'm going to walk real slow try and be real quiet around this corner see if i can catch one in the road well off to the side also i gotta try not to get distracted by mushrooms Looks really grousy. Holy cow. That looks so grousy. Is grousy a word? Okay. 
the brush is pretty thick on either side. If I flush one to the left, I got a chance. If I flush one to the right, I think I'm doomed. I don't want to, yeah, I'm not getting up there. I'm actually pretty surprised we didn't flush a grouse there. This next corner, this kind of stretch here looks pretty much just as good. They love this. They love this brush along the side. Gives them real easy, real easy to hide, real easy to take off into these thick woods before you can ever get a shot off. God, how is there not a grouse there? That was the grousiest, grousiest spot ever. Oh, I thought for sure there was gonna be a grouse in here. You guys hear that? Totally just flushed one, but I have no idea where. I don't even know what direction it came from. But yeah, these little corners with a draw with a creek in it, always grouse in these. I think they come down, get rocks on the road, and it's a water source as well. But yeah, we just flushed one. I think off in here somewhere, there's no way. There's no way I'm getting that guy. Oh, mushrooms. I don't even know what these are. Something crazy. I took another shot. guy went off into the bushes a little bit I'm only using seven size seven shot I don't know if I would have been able to penetrate the bushes here Let's see if I flush him first I don't see him up in any trees I either hit him or he took off when I fired. Oh! Oh, God! I got him! Oh. Oh. Beautiful red phase. Oh, man. Gorgeous bird. All right, well that was a pretty successful day. Uh, we saw five grouse, well, we saw four. I got two in the bag, two of them flushed uh, way too far away from me to ever get a shot. And then one of them, um, we only heard, we never even saw it. But like I said, I got two in the bag, I'm kind of running out of daylight. So I'm gonna find somewhere uh, cool little spot and I'm gonna cook these guys up I'm getting hungry oh man these uh these Pacific Northwest winters are just rough it is uh, a little past three o'clock right now and I uh, just found a cool spot to stop and cook uh, well, it was gonna be lunch, but now dinner. Um, but it's gonna be dark, probably in about 45 minutes, um, right around four or 4.30. And I still got a couple miles to walk out of here. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna save these grouse, and then tomorrow, 
morning, we'll go find a cool spot by a waterfall or something and we'll cook these guys up. So let's do a little time warp magic and uh, we'll transport ourselves and these grouse to tomorrow. Holy cow, it is a lot windier than I thought it was going to be today. And it's a little bit rainy, but we managed to find ourselves a little spot out of the wind here behind this boulder. There's one of the adventure dogs. I don't know where the other one's at, running around here somewhere. Anyway, so first things first, let's make a cup of coffee. Okay, here's what we got going on. We got our oil heating up. Of course, I got my coffee. Uh, our seasoning flour with the Old Bay in it. I do love me some Old Bay. One grouse breast, a couple grouse legs, a grouse heart, some eggs, and we're gonna make some potatoes. So, let's get this all turned into something we can work with. Bam! Potatoes ready. Grouse processed. We got our egg wash. Our seasoning flour and our oil is ready and of course our coffee is ready. Let's get to cooking. Well, you guys probably can't tell because I work to mitigate all of the, uh, the wind and rain and stuff and keep the picture clear and the sound as clear as I can. But the weather has absolutely turned on me. It's crazy windy um, and it's starting to really rain pretty hard. Check this out. The fries look great. Look at these little, look at these little chicken legs. They look so awesome. So I got some uh, breast, a couple legs and some thigh and some taters. I didn't get to cook up as much as I wanted to. Like I said, the weather has <laughs> really turned on me here, but let's give this a shot. I, I really want to try one of these little chicken legs. Mmm. We got a little bone in it. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That is super delicious. Oh. <laughs> I thought I heard something behind me. It's my dogs. I thought they were in front of me. Um, man, that is really good. It's got a, a, a like, um, not gamey, but like a, uh, a wild flavor. It's, mmm, yeah, super good. Little bones in there, though. Honestly, I was in a bit of a hurry. Um, I could have processed it much better. Really good. Okay, let's try some of this breast. Mmm, see that white meat? Oh man. Holy cow. Everything's great when you deep fry it. But yeah, the Old Bay, good on anything. Literally anything. Lettuce, broccoli. <laughs> oh. I wish the weather would cooperate. I'm probably gonna go home and cook up the rest of this grouse just, you know, on my own. Mmm. Oh, that's a great breakfast right there. Holy cow. The fries, the potatoes are, are amazing. Just deep frying anything, amazing. At Old Bay, amazing. The adventure dogs are like, come on, bro. I gave you guys a potato. Mmm. Oh, that was so good. All right, you guys. Well, it took me three days. Three days of exploring and filming and running around in the mountains and the woods. But we did it. Got a couple grouse and deep fried them with the jet boil out in the woods. Super stoked about that. So, 
just want to say thanks everyone for watching. It's been a super fun adventure. As always, grab your bananas, head outside. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, sea trouts. Is this thing recording? Whoops. We got there, buddy, a nut? What are you eating, a rock? Looks yummy, and so do you. Just kidding, you're tiny. Enjoy your nut, buddy.